so let's make this beautiful design. Uh, the first thing we want to do that we want to put everything in the middle of the screen. So within scaffold, we'll return a widget, which is called center widget. But first we need to define the body property. And within body, we'll return center. Okay, so within this, everything would be center. But now, as you can see, I will have two elements. So I want to put them in a column. So uh, I want to use a column property. Okay, so as a child, I'll have a column. Okay, and of course within column we'll have children, we know that. Okay, and again, the children, we also want the children to start from the middle. Axis alignment, yes. Main axis alignment dot center. All right, and now, okay, so this one, the first thing you want to do, draw this container or draw this 3, 3D ball or 3D object. Okay, so how do you do that? We'll first define a container over here. Container. And within container, we'll return a child. Okay, in our case, the child is the icon. So this is the icon, all right? Okay, now icon will have icons dot uh, property like say Android. Let's see, Android outlined. I will go with this one. All right, and now we'll give it a size. So we'll say size say, 50 all right yeah and for now we'll use color we'll say colors dot uh, white okay like that or gray okay so if we go ahead and run it we'll see something like yeah this one okay all right but now what about this uh, circular button around it so that's what we would be doing now okay now the first thing first as it's a container we want to give it a height and width okay so let's give it a width 200 and height 200 all right now let's save it and see of course nothing is there now the next thing we want to do we want to decorate it we'll call the box decoration all right this one on box decoration takes border radius and we'll do border radius now and we'll do border circular so we'll use 100 because the width and height they're all 200 so half the border is the radius is 100 so it'll make it like a circle right okay perfect now we want to do the color okay well for now we'll do uh, colors dot gray dot shade say 300 that's what we want to do this is the color we want to do so now let's go ahead and save it so this is what we have so which also means we are coming closer to it right yeah okay so now next thing we want to do is applying shadow as you see we have shadows over here okay so to do that we'll just call box shadow all right now it takes an array of shadows so you can pass as many shadows box shadows as you want so in our case maybe we'll try just two all right okay now first let's go ahead and define the color and we'll do colors dot gray dot shadow 600 of course you can play around these values it's up to you how you do that on uh, next we'll do blur radius so we'll set 10 and spread radius spread radius should be less than blur radius and now we are playing the lightning which is more like offset or offset is more like lightning you can understand it like like it when it comes to shadowing flatter Okay, now let's save it and see the result okay now this is what we have already we are coming closer to our design this one right okay okay now as you see so what is happening here so if you have offset like positive offset so it comes from this angle you can understand it's like this all right okay now we can apply multiple shadows over here uh, we'll just copy paste it all right, and the other thing we'll do, we'll change the shadow color. Okay, instead of uh, gray, we'd, we'd apply white over here. And we can also change the angle. So now the white color will be applied from this, this direction, like this, from here. All right, okay, now let's go ahead and save it. Perfect. So this is what we have, and we are pretty close to a design over here. Okay, yeah. 
So what do we do next? Uh, now we want to be able to draw a button and toggle on it, right? So this is our container and we want to draw a button. Now we want to first do sized box. Okay, and we'll do height 100 and then we'll draw a button. What is the button? We'll do a raised button. Okay, and it takes unpressed property. So now with an unpressed property, we want to create a button and able to be toggle and change the color of this thing. We do that. Then we'll call set state because within set state we'll keep the track of the variable and that will change as it changes it will trigger the re-render of this whole uh, UI or the build method would be called again. So what we do we'll declare a variable here we'll call it bool tapped false at the beginning it won't be tapped right. So now over here we change it so we'll call tapped and tap tap so we want to negate it whatever the value it is first time it is false so after tapping it it would be true and next time it would be false again hopefully it makes sense all right now we want to change the color over here this is the main shadow color okay now how do we change it so as we declare this variable over here so at the top so based on this state we'll change the color or based on this variable condition so if tapped say equal uh, true then all shadow will apply one kind of color okay otherwise we'll apply another kind of color so if it's true that means it's being toggled then we'll use gray shed say 100 I guess this is more like more white okay otherwise we'll use shed 300 okay now let's go ahead and save it now, so this is our button. Now let's toggle it. As you see, we can change the color, right? Perfect. Everything is working as we expected. So the tap property, I mean the tap variable is playing important role. Based on that, we change the color over here. Now, another thing we want to do, we also want to change this icon. It's always gray. We don't want it gray all the time, all right? So we can do it easily here. We can change the color over here. So what do we do? We'll check the tapped condition if it is false then one one kind of color if it is false then it will use the white which means at the beginning at the beginning it is false right so at the beginning tap condition is false so this would be white and this would be gray otherwise we'll use colors dot gray okay all right, let's see over here. Okay, perfect. Let's save it. Yes, it's working now. Okay, as you see, as the top, we have different color, uh, different Android color, different button. So this is more like also inner shadow or the shadow curved inside, things like that, okay? Hopefully you understand. So the main thing is about over here, playing around this box shadows, okay? That's what you need to do if you want to apply this in your UI. Of course, you can play around it a lot and do whatever you like, okay? So the box shadow is mostly important and the lightening, okay, how it comes. Uh, the matching, the similar color. The color distance should not be too much. So like shed, gray shed, and white, they're pretty close. Perfect. So if you like the tutorial, don't forget to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much.